Uh, hello, Ron McKnight here from Limerick, Ireland. I just want to show you my finished painting. It's in a frame uh, by Pierre de Goss Renoir. He painted the original, The Luncheon of the Boarding Party, in 18 to 1881, in Isles. This painting is in Isles as well. And uh, just I just finished it. Just want a few things to do with it. I'm happy enough for it. And um, Pierre de Goss Renoir, he lived from 1840 to 1919. When he painted this painting, he he changed the composition a lot over the, over the year that he painted it. It was painted outside of Paris uh, on the first floor of a restaurant called the Le Maison Forzanese. It was, it's still a famous place today. People flock there today. But during that time, it, people were kind of opening up in Paris. You know, the middle classes and the upper classes, they were kind of mingling together, you know. And, uh, of course, um, uh, Renoir's friends, uh, you have uh, Calabati here, and she's a, a model or an actress. This guy here is a, a journalist, collector, uh, poet, artist, actress. Uh, this is the, the owner's daughter and the owner's son. This is Aline Chargat. She became Renoir's wife and she bore him three children. At the time she was only a, <clears throat> a seamstress. But uh, she replaced another model that was actually supposed to take this part, but she was difficult and he had to get rid of her. <laughs> so she, he asked this lady to step in and she later became his wife. And... Um, the, the original painting is in Washington, D.C. It's a beautiful painting. It's a huge painting. I think it's 60 inches by 70 inches, something like that. But Paul Durand, he represented all the, the Impressionist artists at the time when nobody wanted them. So he bought all their paintings. And uh, he bought this painting from Renoir after the seventh uh, Impressionist show in 1883. And... Um, he held on to that painting for a long, long time. But he had about maybe 300 or 400 paintings by the Impressionists. And his money kind of, you know, he lost a lot of money. So in, in the 1890s, he went to America and he made a fortune. He really uh, sold everything in America. The, the Americans loved, loved the Impressionist artist. And um, so but this one he held on to until he sold it to Duncan Phillips in 1923 for $120,000. And it was brought back to America. It is in the Phillips collection today. And it's the most viewed painting in the collection. And at the time, when the Seventh Impressionist Exhibition, it was highly praised. It was the best uh, picture in the show. And you can see why. You know, it's, uh, there's a lot going on in this painting. You, first of all, you have... Um, the scale here leaning over the balcony, which is beautiful. The, the composition is like a triangle. goes from here to there. The eye eventually goes back to her. And then you have this section here, and this section here, and this section here, and this section here. And there's a kind of um, uh, tension, you know, back and forwards. So the, your eye is eventually, it settles down, and it's beautiful. You start to look all over the painting. And uh, the, even the fruit and the wine on the table is... Uh, is impressionistic and um, there's a, it's a beautiful painting and he, Renoir he put this can, canopy in it wasn't in the restaurant at the time so it's a you know people go flock from all over the world to Washington DC to see it and um, they, they love it even impression this paintings today people love impressions paintings today you know we still love it and uh, it's a beautiful painting, and uh, it really, uh, it really relaxes the eyes when you look upon it and, and study it. And it's a real holiday scene, you know. It's a, they're just stopping for lunch and they're having the, uh, just having their their, uh, their, their lunch. And uh, you know, you can see that they're really they're real boaters. You see, there's the boating outside in the water, there, and they're just pulled into the side, and, and they're all meeting up and things like that. And um, so I'm very happy with the painting. It turned out I'm, I'm very happy with it. So uh, 
I hope people get something out of it. You know, because uh, the impressions were beautiful painters. But they weren't appreciated at the time, of course. You know, until uh, the French Society in the 1890s, maybe. You know, it took maybe 30 years for the for the, the French Society to to really love their paintings. But of course, the treasure today in, you know, all over France, you know. And um, I was... Uh, so this is finished now, and I'll move on and do another copy. I love to do copies. It's a great learning call for any artist. And of course, I do my own work as well. So that's The Luncheon of the Boarding Party by Pierre de Gosse Renoir. And um, I want to thank you very much for watching. And I hope you subscribe. Thank you very much.